and welcome to this edition of Cavium's Intelligent I.O. Matters video series. My name is Todd Owens and the presentation I have for you today focuses on how to transition customers to HPE Gen 10 servers by including the network transition from 1 gigabit to 10 gigabit Ethernet networks in the server conversation. The task at hand is to transition customers from competitor platforms or from legacy HPE Gen 8 and Gen 9 servers to the new HPE Gen 10 server platforms based on the Intel Perly processor. Now, many of these customers not only have the older servers in use today, but they also have older network infrastructure, and they will use that as a reason not to upgrade to the new servers. So how do you get the customer to move from legacy infrastructure to new infrastructure in addition to the new HPE Gen 10 server platforms? Well, this isn't an easy task and there are lots of variables. Uh, customers with legacy Gen 8 or Gen 9 servers are concerned about the management differences with all the new options and security available in the Gen 10 servers. Or as I said, they might have legacy 1 gigabit Ethernet infrastructure and think that the network can't support the server upgrade. It becomes really difficult to overcome these objections without expanding your conversation beyond just the server box. Including the infrastructure in the conversation can improve your odds. A good approach would be to not only address the advantages of a Gen 10 server platform, but also talk about leveraging backward compatibility of 10 g T networks to address the infrastructure concerns. HPE branded 10 g T adapters from Cavium and the Arista 7160 48XGT 10 g T switches are just the right elements to ensure HPE customers get the most from both the old and new systems. All HPE 10 g T adapters from Cavium and the Arista 7160 48XGT switch are backward compatible with 1 gigabit Ethernet using auto negotiation. This means they'll plug and play into the legacy 1 gigabit Ethernet network and provide a path for migration to 10 gigabit Ethernet networking. Let's look at a use case here. The customer has legacy servers connected to a 1 gigabit Ethernet network. Now, let's add the Arista switch and connect it to the legacy servers still running at 1 gigabit Ethernet. Now we can bring in the new HPE ProLiant Gen 10 servers and connect them to the Arista switch with a 10 g base T adapter that runs at 10 gigabit Ethernet. Now down the road, we can add 10 g base T adapters to the legacy servers and start running them at either 1 gigabit Ethernet or 10 gigabit Ethernet. Now remember, these adapters and the switch support both speeds. And then we can start to retire the old 1 gigabit Ethernet network switches. The Arista 7160 series switches are based on the Cavium Expliant technology and offer network architects and administrators much more flexibility and scalability and also exceptional performance at the same time increasing the operational efficiency for managing the network infrastructure. From a flexibility standpoint, uh, these switches support both 1 and 10 gigabit Ethernet with auto negotiation. Uh, the operational efficiency can be increased in the fact that these switches and the Cavium Expliant ASIC technology within them support a programmable pipeline. Arista uses this to its advantage to allow a single switch to play multiple roles in the data center with different profiles that are software initiated. And that means that a single switch can be a top of rack, end of row, or even a spine configuration. Scalability is amazing on these uh, switches with support for more than 48,000 access control lists, which means they're ideal for even large scale data centers. And the performance is exceptional as well with 2.16 terabits per second at 10 gigs and can process up to 1.2 billion packets per second. Another key point to make is that the HPE branded 10 g base T adapters from Cavium are supported on multiple generations of HPE ProLiant servers. These adapters are supported on Gen 8, Gen 9, and now Gen 10 servers, providing a common set of firmware and drivers, as well as management utilities for all three generations. This greatly simplifies administration and reduces the total cost of ownership associated with transitioning to the HPE Gen 10 servers. In addition, there are lots of advanced features available on these adapters listed here. 
Now some of these features, specifically network partitioning, SRIOV, iSCSI offloads, and tunnel offloads are available at 1 gigabit speeds as well as 10 gigabit speeds. The DPDK small packet processing and the FCOE offloads are available only when running 10 gigabit Ethernet. Here's a look at the cost per gigabit breakdown comparing 1 gigabit Ethernet to 10 gigabit Ethernet offerings. You can see that the 10 gigabit Ethernet offerings make a pretty compelling value proposition compared to 1 gigabit Ethernet when you look at the uh, cost per gigabit per second. Cavium Ethernet technology is certified by all the major operating system vendors including Microsoft, VMware, Red Hat, SUSE, Citrix, Oracle, and more. And this means that compatibility from legacy systems to new systems is not going to be an issue. So the key sales play here is to talk to the customer about upgrading from 1 gigabit Ethernet to 10 gigabit Ethernet. Now, I estimate somewhere between 30 and 35% of Gen 10 server customers are going to be connecting or considering connecting to 1 gigabit Ethernet infrastructure. Think of all the processing power that's available in these Gen 10 servers that simply cannot take advantage when connected to the suboptimal 1 gigabit Ethernet network. It's not to say that 1 gigabit's not good, but there are better solutions available today. Think of 1 gigabit Ethernet like a flip phone. Many people still use these today as it makes phone calls, but that's all you can do with them. Now think of 10 gigabit Ethernet as the smartphone. Customers can make the same phone calls with a, as a, with a flip phone, but there's so much more you can do, and you're not paying a huge premium in price uh, to get all those advanced features. As I mentioned, 10 GBase T is backward compatible to 1 gigabit Ethernet and provides many more capabilities than you can get off of a standard 1 gigabit Ethernet adapter. And 10 gigabit Ethernet provides a very attractive price per gigabit value proposition. So here's the call to action. We say follow the wire. In all server and storage engagements, speak to your customers about how they connect the servers and storage to the network and to each other. Specifically target customers connecting Gen 10 servers to one gigabit ethernet networks. Talk to them about the advantages of upgrading to 10 GBase-T. This will lead to opportunities to talk with them about things that you learned here today and you can talk to your customers about why I.O. matters and how HPE provides optimized connectivity with unbelievable flexibility and manageability. For more information, access the HPE microsite at www.qlogic.com slash info slash HPE. Here you're going to find lots of great information on the products and technology that we discussed. This includes white papers, data sheets, and technology briefs. If you're interested in some more HPE specific training on IO technology from Cavium, check out our HPE training site at hpe.qlogictraining.net. Here you're going to find a variety of short on-demand training courses and you'll have the opportunity to gain a certification on HPE and Cavium adapter technology. Also, check out more of our Intelligent IO Matters video on YouTube. Just check out the Qlogic TV channel. Well, that's it for this session of Intelligent IO Matters. I want to thank you for your time and your attention. And if you have any questions or need some help, please reach out to us via email, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.